hey what's going on who that nation it is yours truly tj jones and yes i am the host of the state of the saints podcast thank you so much for checking out the state of the saints podcast where we talk new orleans saints hope you're having a good day so far um i know that this is a pre-recorded episode uh, normally i go live for the uh, pre-game but um, right now if you're listening to this when I just put it out, I'm actually at the pumpkin patch <laughs> with my wife and, and my son, you know, so wanted to do that before uh, the game actually starts. Uh, and I actually enjoy going out there with them and just a smile on their faces. And it's always a great atmosphere. I mean, with the hay rides and <laughs> the pet goat. <laughs> but on this edition, we're going to be talking about the Saints week five matchup. This time they traveled to Foxborough, Massachusetts to take on the new england patriots now this is an intriguing game not just for the new orleans saints but also for the new england patriots as well and I, I know as saints fans you may not follow what's really going on with new england uh quite a bit uh last week uh the new england patriots just got molly whopped. i gotta go back in the day with a word molly whopped <laughs> by the dallas cowboys 38 to 3 uh they too um have been struggling offensively they're averaging about 13 points a game of course uh mac jones started the game last week versus the cowboys and got benched for bailey zappy now this has been an ongoing situation over the last couple of years mac jones versus bailey zappy uh mac jones has you know been pulled from games and allowing bailey zappy to play and this is maybe one of those games where we don't know who is going to start the game. Now, it, and it may end up being Mac Jones just because, you know, it, it probably was, you know, a tough day at the office. They'll probably think of it that way and give him the opportunity. But Bailey Zappi is breezing down his neck. And, uh, you know, this should be interesting to see which uh, quarterback they're going to roll with. If they'll roll with Mac Jones, if things get bad, or they might come out there with Bailey Zappi. But regardless, uh, they're averaging 13 points a game. Uh, they signed, uh, well, they traded for J.C. Jackson, who previously was with the New England Patriots before uh, getting paid with the Chargers. But uh, New England makes a trade due to the injury uh, for Christian Gonzalez, their rookie cornerback out of Oregon, who is out for the season. And also you have Matthew Z- Judon, their star linebacker and leader of sacks. Uh, he won't be playing as well. He's dealing with an injury that is serious as well. So the New Orleans Saints uh, come into town and you got a New England Patriot team that's trying to figure it out, and they also licking their wounds defensively. This is one of those opportunities where the New Orleans Saints have to take advantage of it. Now, the injury report has come out over the last couple of weeks, and some of the injuries to teams could have been looked at as, you know, the Saints uh, getting a gift from the guys, so to speak, the injury guys. And the Saints have been uh unable to capitalize on that thing you know like that's the frustrated thing about it you know like a couple of weeks ago you you didn't have Jair Alexander you didn't have Batiari you didn't have uh Christian Watson uh the wide receiver uh from Green Bay and they went out there and they still lost all right even though they had a 17 point lead early uh in in the first half and then of course we all know what happened and you know I mean the Saints have to be able to take advantage of these situations uh, this is a New Orleans Saints team that has a lot of issues offensively. Now, we already know this, man. I mean, people have been talking about it, you know, talking about the offense, talking about Pete Carmichael. Uh, this is the moment. This is the time where the New Orleans Saints have got to put it together or there's going to be some some serious blowback. Um, the New Orleans Saints fans are already frustrated. Uh, they feel um, as Pete Carmichael need to uh, go or get his uh, play calling duties relinquished as the offensive coordinator. Uh, the New Orleans Saints have a whole bunch of talent and they have to show it against New England, the New England Patriots, because if they don't, then, you know, this is really, really, really going to be a concern. And you really have to ask yourself if the New Orleans Saints organization is, is competent at this point, if they don't move on from Pete Carmichael, if they cannot produce in this game now i get it it's bill belichick he's a defensive genius he takes away the things that you do best but look p carmichael has been offensive coordinator for 15 seasons he's a guy that should understand uh you know the way to put playmakers in position to make plays 
And I think they're going to do it today. I think that this is one of those games where, you know, they've been hearing uh, from the fans, they've been hearing inside of the building from some players, players like Alvin Kamara, that they need to change some things up. I think that this is the game where the Saints are going to really try to do everything they can offensively to be effective. And if they don't, then, man, we got a lot bigger problems than we even thought. But when you look at it, I think the New Orleans Saints should win this football game. I think that the Saints are just a, a little bit more talented all around than the New England Patriots at this point. Uh, once again, they got some issues that they're dealing with. They're wondering, like, shockingly. This is something that I thought was shocking that, uh, you know, they're thinking about possibly firing Bill Belichick. I mean, the fans are really that up in arms about the New England Patriots, I guess, because, you know, they're they're used to winning and, you know, you don't have Tom Brady anymore and it's been a struggle. But the Saints have to go in here and they have to take advantage of it. And they really have to stay focused because, you know, I can remember last year where the New Orleans Saints took on the Carolina Panthers uh, early in the season. Uh, Matt Rule was on the hot seat and Matt Rule led <laughs> Carolina Panthers beat the New Orleans Saints. I mean, so the New Orleans Saints have got to stay focused in this game if they want to win. Uh, defensively, they have to bounce back. They, they got to bounce back from that sorry performance against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, I think that that had a lot to do with, to be honest, the frustration uh, of the lack of offensive plays and being effective offensively. I think that was, um, you know, something I felt the defense was feeling last week, and I don't think they put forth their best effort at all. So they have to be able to bounce back. You got to be able to get pressure on Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi. You got to get the ball out of their hands. And those guys are capable of drawing you a pick. You know, <laughs> they will they will throw you a pick or two if you're ready for it. So the New Orleans Saints have got to be focused. Um, you know, if they have opportunities to get turnovers, they got to be able to get it. Uh, running the football is key offensively for the New Orleans Saints. Getting the ball into the hands of Alvin Kamara in, in creative ways, not just running him up the middle like he Earl Campbell or uh, Derek, uh, <laughs> or Derek Henry or something like that. You know, like you have to be able to come up with innovative plays, get him on outside, wheel routes, uh, you know, some of those angle routes. Get Alvin Kamara the ball in space, and I guarantee you, you won't regret it. Also, you got to get Chris Olave involved. Uh, last week, he was really frustrated and justifiably so. A guy with that type of talent, that type of ability, you got to be able to put the ball into his hands and make him uh, make plays. So I think getting him involved in the game early just to get his confidence back uh, from last week, uh, I think that would be good. And also Rasheed Shahid, not just throwing the ball down the field because he's faster than everybody else, but, you know, try to come up with some plays like, you know, jet sweeps or, you know, wide receiver screens. Like get this guy out there in order for him to make plays offensively. Come up with some creativity where the New England Patriots are guessing. Uh, the New England Patriots defensively, they play disciplined defense, but it's not anything that you, you should write home about. So the New Orleans Saints can move the football offensively against the New England Patriots if they apply themselves. Uh, I got the New Orleans Saints winning this football game. I think that it's going to be a, a good game. Um, I don't think it's going to be high score, and of course, because of both teams, uh, ineffectiveness as, as offense but I do feel um, that the New Orleans Saints will do enough uh, to win the game and uh, hopefully they, they do enough to be able to keep uh, the naysayers quiet about P. Carmichael as offensive coordinator for another week but I would love to hear from you what do you think about the Saints week five matchup versus the Patriots who you think is going to win comment down below like and share this video thank you so much for checking out the State of the Saints podcast Previous episodes available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Anchor FM, and you can follow me on X at TJAY Jones 8. Till next time, all I gotta say is, who that?